Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release, 2020 Panini Donruss Football 9 box, half case from a fresh case, random team break number 1. No veteran commons will ship in this one, but everyone will get a, uh, an NFL team. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action here in our first, uh, in our first one. And there's all the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a three. Three. One and a two. Three times. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got Nick down to Nick. Three times for the teams. And three. After three times, we got the Browns down to the Bucks. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Nick with the Browns, Jeremy with the Lions, Henry with the Titans, Angel with the Patriots, Dom with the Redskins, Mark with the Giants, Tony with the Eagles, Greg with the Chiefs, Corey with the Cowboys, Justin with the Jags, Nick with the Cardinals, Mark with the Bengals, Greg with the Jets, Angel with the Panthers, Jeff with the Texans, Angel, you have the Niners, Chris Murphy with the Seahawks, Rhea with the Ravens, Milwaukee with the ball, Middleton shoots, no, does not get it, foul? Wow, three free throws. Milwaukee down by three. Sorry, we got playoffs happening here. Frank with the Steelers. Ron with the Broncos. James with the Vikings. Nick with the Falcons. Andy, you got my Raiders. Angel with the Bills. Ron with the Saints. Brad with the Chargers. John with the Colts. Bill with the Packers. Juan with the Rams. J uh, Ron, not John. Ron with the Bears. Rick T with the Dolphins. Nick Stober with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, let's sort by column B. All right, now I'm going to pause the video. Feel free to trade if you like. And when we come back, we're going to see who's won this uh, Miami-Milwaukee game, I think, unless it goes to overtime. BRB. Well, maybe not BRB. Wow. Sinks all. And they're going to time out. Okay, we're going to time out too. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. Some excitement in that Miami-Milwaukee game. A double zero on the clock foul on Miami. Jimmy Butler hits the two free throws, and then Miami wins. They're up 2-0 on the Milwaukee Bucks. There was also a trade. There's some excitement right here, too. So, Bill, so there was a three-for-one deal. Ron traded three of his teams for the Packers. So there you go. So now he's in the Packers spot. And Bill ends up with three teams. Bears, Broncos, and Saints. Ron chasing that Jordan Love. So let's see how that works out. Trade window is closed. Good luck to both of you and to everybody. Let's print and rip. So there's the case right there. That's 18 boxes in there. We're doing half case. We're doing nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The top half, and then we've got bottom half, right? So top nine, bottom nine right here. So we're gonna roll the die on this screen, on this main screen. So we'll go one, two, three for the top nine, and four, five, six for the bottom nine. And it's gonna be two, top nine.
So we'll save the second half for next time. We'll just set this back here for now. All right, so Sean will be here in a second to help us rip these open, but we'll get started with these ones right here. So what are we looking for? We've got one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. Nice. So it's going to take a minute or two, so good luck, everybody. And we've got another playoff game. This, this one's exciting, too, a game seven. Rockets up 23-20 with three minutes left in the first quarter. That just started. I don't know if there's any case hits in this in a traditional sense. So in the interest of time, we're going to try to fly through this as little quickly as possible. Um, but we will uh, sleeve and top load all... Uh, all uh, hits. I'll throw these cards around. And Joe Burrow and Tua rookie cards. Who does everyone have in this OKC Houston game? Game seven, I guess coin toss. Especially since no one's on the road or at home or anything like that. So there's... There's no court advantage. Who do you have, Sean, in this one? I think in Houston. I think in Houston? I mean, that, that, that cream has to rise to the top, right? I just feel like, you know... A lot of young players on OKC. Oklahoma City is very, uh, very uh, thin. You know? I mean, CB3 had to have a phenomenal game just to yep. win last time. Yep. It's thin. So yeah, it might be. I think it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, I'd rather the Lakers get OKC as well, but it's kind of. I, I think Houston will will end up with it. All right, here we go. Donner's football, ladies and gentlemen. So th these rated rookie canvases will, of course, ship. We got Teddy Bruschi. That'll ship. And anything, if I happen to miss anything, like I'm not going to miss this right here, but if I happen to miss anything, our shipping team will, when they sort all this stuff out, will we'll catch everything that needs to go. Is that Jalen Ragor numbered? No, it's not. But the Michael Vick is numbered. That's to 75, by the way. Oh, where's my printout? Here's the final printout right here, folks. Sorry. Second half is already in the store if you want to do that. You can run that back tonight. We got Amari Cooper, red. Not numbered, but it will ship. John Elway, just kind of have to get used to this set here. Got to save that. I know veteran commons don't ship, but I'll, I'll save a Brady for the Bucks. That'll be for Nick. Another... Brady right here, but that's a great Iron King, so that will already ship. And there's Kyler Murray to 500, top right. Veteran Commons won't ship, but obviously rookie rated rookie cards and all inserts will ship. That'll ship. Camaro will ship. Carry on Johnson will ship. Stuff like this. Aaron Rodgers, Michael Gallup. Dak Prescott, these guys aren't shipping, you know what I mean? And it makes sense. And we got Travis Kelsey on one side and Tony Gonzalez on the front. 116 out of 199, passing the torch. I get it. It's a flame. It's a flame. And he's passing the torch to Travis Kelsey. All right, there you go. Chiefs, that's going to go to Greg B with the Chiefs. We got Justin Jefferson to uh, to 100 right there. Mm. 
Yeah, that's kind of cool. Legends of the Fall. Oh, that's from like the Legacy set. And Bradley Chubb is our first autograph. Signature marks, 35 out of 50 for my rivals, the Broncos. Bill drawing first blood in the trade. Yeah, someone else mentioned that earlier too, that Leonard Fournette is planning to sign with the Bucks, So he's not going very far, right? Jacksonville to, uh, to Tampa Bay. So the Bucks just adding more... Just more weapons. More weapons for Tom Brady. Yeah, good. Yeah. Is Miami going to sweep? Miami can sweep? No. Milwaukee's got to win a game, right? I mean, Giannis uh, will just go off. He, I, I there has to be at least a game. Milwaukee in seven. Wow, Milwaukee in seven? You think that's, this just wakes them up? Just wakes up Milwaukee and then they just go off. They just rattle off some wins. And here's Jordan Love, rated rookie. I wonder what Ante can get on that right now. I don't know. It's just, I mean, basically to win, right? Oh, well, specifically in seven? Well, I mean, let's be honest. Like, I don't think they're going to go four in a row after just losing two, you know? Maybe they win to give up the third, to give up five. I'll give you a serious price right now. According to Bet Online, there is no. Do I? Do I? Did they not give me a serious price? There is a serious price. No, there is no no line on the serious price right now. It's it's getting sleeved, Lester. It's set aside. Yeah, that's in the. It's gonna be sleeved pile. Joe knows the greatness of Jordan Love. No current line because of the game they're sending. Uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. We'll update. We'll update at some point. So that's, you, that's who you use? Oh yeah, here I'll give you I'll give you this box. This box traveling back to Sean. Back in the back. Here, we'll just do this right now for Ron. For for future uh for future Aaron Rodgers, future Brett Favre. Here, all right, let's roll. You know, I think he's more uh, terrible to a Colin Kaepernick. Who, Jordan Love? Yeah. Not sucky Colin Kaepernick, right? Like good Colin Kaepernick. Oh yeah. Multi, multi tool. Thicker pack. Look at that. What's that? Thick card in there. Thick card. East and Stig. Don't compare Jordan Love to East and Stig. Ron would not be happy about that. Or other Packers fans. They're like, so this is Packers fans be like so bust, right? Is that what you're saying? No, I don't even want to listen to you, Sean. You're the guy that thinks Tyrod Ty Ty Taylor is going to start. He is and, starting. And they just announced it. Does Anthony, is Anthony trying to get fired? Week one starter, Tyrod Taylor. How many weeks does he have before Justin Herbert takes over? Six. If Six? They don't, if they don't play well. Six? If they don't play well, they'll give him, like, honestly, I think if, it's, if, they're, if, they're, if they're three or three or less after six weeks, it's definitely... I'd say, two, I agree with you, James. Once they lose to the Bengals and lose to the Chiefs oh my God. and lose to the Panthers and lose to the Buccaneers, yeah, after oh they lose God. to the Chiefs... That's yeah. If that's they, if they are three or three or less. at Bengals hosting the Chiefs, 
hosting the Panthers and at Buccaneers. After six weeks, if we were left one and three. three. Left yeah, three. and then let let's start let's start the Herbert. Yeah, Josh is saying they're gonna start zero and four too. Yeah, then we'll start the Herbert era. I guess technically no one's hosting anybody this football season, but. James, that's a terrible joke, especially in a time when there's no fans. But even then, no, the, the stadium play. would be the stadium would it be play. would be seventy five twenty five non Chargers fans in a home game. That's what it was in StubHub. It was Tyro Williams, who I think is done for the season to fifty for my Raiders. Next man up. Yeah, he is done. I think he is right. Mm -hmm. Season ending. It'd be good if those injuries. Here is the super thick card. It's Canton Kings, 14 out of 25. Yeah, Curtis Martin. Jets, Greg B with the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Wait, are you, Josh, are you actually saying there may be an advantage for the Chargers because they're used to playing without fans? No, he's just trying to make mm -hmm. it a joke that has been made many times before. I think that makes sense. That's true. It's true, though. It's Marshawn Lynch. Can't we say the same thing for the Browns, the Dolphins? Browns have a lot of home fans in their games. In their home games. Dolphins, I don't know. Jaguars. Jaguars have some home fans at their games. I think. That I don't know. They don't even have visiting fans. <laughs> right. Hunter Henry, speaking of... Uh, Sean's Chargers, three out of ten. Hunter Henry, what's your Hunter Henry projection this this year? He will grade out as a top three tight end. What? Stop! Point. That Chargers Kool Aid must be delicious. Top three tight end. Must be delicious. That goes to Brad Bennett and the Bolts. I like Hunter Henry a lot, but he just said top three. Top three. That's crazy talk. That's. that's There you go, Mark. Oh, now Mark H yeah. is here with. Call him the reinforcements. Round them up. Do you agree with that, Mark H? Hunter Henry, a top three tight end by the end of the season? Terrence. Chase Velarde. Come right. On. Obviously, Darren Waller will be number one. <laughs> Travis Kelsey, number two. Oh. You know, there's Devin Duvernay, rated rookie, to this 10. Is disgusting. Ravens, that'll go to Rhea. Listen. Only, only person Darren Waller is going to be number one with is Rehab. Yeah, you got Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey. I'd even take Jonu Smith over Hunter Henry. I wouldn't. I'm kidding. I'd take Hunter Henry over Jonu Smith, but I don't know. John, Jonu Smith does get targets in the end zone, though. All right, yeah, Kittle's still out there, too. <laughs> I accounted on. for Kittle and Ertz. What else do I need to do? You think Ertz is going to be a top three tight end this season? Mark oh, wait, L. Sorry. Kittle and Kelsey. Not so you're saying Kittle, Kelsey, then Hunter Henry? Hunter Hunter will be ahead of one of those three. I don't know which three is going to get which of those three is going to get hurt, but Hunter Henry wow. never gets hurt. Plays full seasons all the time. He doesn't. He gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that sweet sweet Chargers Kool Aid, <laughs> that delicious lemon lime Chargers Kool Aid. It's very uh, very durable. Uh, never been hurt. Never got the game from injury. Never so. been hurt, he says. See, James says Kelsey Waller, Kittle, Ertz, Henry. So it's still top five. I'm not. I mean, you guys act like I'm saying ridiculous things by saying top three when you put them in your top five. Come on. There's Jacob Eason to 500. There's a Tua. Thank you, James, for at least... Cincinnati Bengals, Mark that. L. got that Joe Burrow-rated rookie. And for the Dolphins, that's Rick T. with the Tua. Oh, yeah, what about Gronk? He's out of retirement. Connect reunited, and Did it you feels see him so try good. Did you Drake? Yeah, but I mean, he's not a defense. He no mobility. He's not a defensive back. He can't. He he has to run backwards doing that. He's used to running forwards. Do you, 
He was trying to run backwards, Joe, trying have to you cover. Never, have you never played defense covered. trying to tackle somebody? Because you're typically not running backwards. Yeah, you are. you got to be on your toes. Somebody. You're running backwards. No, no, it's lateral movement. He was trying to cover. Not, not backwards. And then attack. He, he can't go backwards and when forward. That's not his thing. When you're There's Jerry somebody, Judy, you definitely don't, 41 you don't out of 199. Because when you're moving backwards, you give them uh, he got He got tripped up. He, got, he just got tripped up. All right, there's Jerry Judy to 199. Broncos, Bill, with my rivals. There's a Devin Duvernay, die cut to 25. Let's protect that die cut. Those get a little weird. Joe Burrow, Canvas. That'll be for the Bengals. That'll be for Mark L. Yeah, Tyler, absolutely. I think we're booked until around 11 o'clock Pacific, but let's keep adding more to that schedule. Like the five star. Like the five box Panini Immaculate Collegiate Football. Full case random number block break would be nice. Brady also limits how far downfield uh, wide receivers can run. James. Yeah, but when you have Mike Evans running a 15 yard slant and then bang, he gets it. Look at the yak, Sean. Look at the yak. You'll have good yak. Another Joe Burrow. Ooh, nice. Thanks, Sean. There you go. Big thanks to Sean for ripping those boxes for us, helping this break go a little bit faster. Giving us his crazy football takes. Just <laughs> guaranteed losing your fancy football season. But it's a, it's like. It's like, I wonder who would have more W's at the end of the season, Sean's fantasy team with all Chargers or the Chargers themselves? Definitely the Chargers. No. No, I, I, I might take your fantasy team, too. There's more Broncos. Melvin Gordon this time, 127 to 299. Are we doing a bet? Uh, Broncos, Bill. Rangers? No. We're not? No. Uh. Both teams are going to be terrible. <laughs> but who's going to be worse? One team wins six games, the other team wins seven games. You That's pick, a win by you somebody. Pick, you pick. Be lucky for any of, for both of our teams to go eight and eight. Is Odell Beckham Jr. to 500? Well, with the extra playoff spot, that might get you in. Is there an extra playoff spot this year? Yeah. Right, there is. Yeah. Banded so playoffs. eight and eight could get you into the playoffs? 110%. There's been people making playoffs Herbert. at seven and nine, Joe. In that's a regular true, season. yeah, that's true. You're telling me eight and eight in an expanded playoff oh. season won't get you in? I'm going to say it is. Oh, um, Mark, I actually did take Hunter Hendrick in, a, in our Jaspies League, I'm pretty sure. And there is your week three starter, Justin Herbert. Canvas for the Bolts. Oh, come on. That's going to go. Oh, I don't know why you think Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod Taylor is going to do well. Well, listen, guys, it's not going straight to Herbert. It's going to stick first. Stop. It's not. They're going to skip Easton Stick, definitely. It's going to stick. They'll bring Easton Stick in in like a fourth quarter of a blowout, maybe. Easton Stick. And then the next week, they're just going to prep Justin Herbert to play. Easton Stick. Week, why waste time week on week Easton eight, Stick when you have. seven starter. Why Easton waste stick. time on Easton Stick? That's just so stupid. Easton stick Thank week, God you don't run that team. Week seven starter. Tariq Cohen, 14 out of 299. Bears relic for Bill. Mark, I also have uh, Badgley as my kicker. We've got two chargers on the Yeah, board. Anthony Lynn, an expert at finding kickers. There's Joe Burrow. Special teams, always a charger strong suit. Mark L with the Bengals. Big thanks to Sean for removing from the boxes. It's crazy sports takes though. That gets that gets I don't know. That gets gets, in, gets into some heated arguments there. There's power formulas. Richard Sherman. That kind of looks cool. Is 
Is that a shorter print of something? Maybe? I don't know. I'm excited about Lynn Bowden Jr. I'm realistic about my readers. <laughs> There's Darren Waller, the best tight end in the league right here, 80 to 83. Now, I mean, Darren Waller's certainly regression for him, but, but even if he plays almost as well as he did last season, that's some good fantasy bricks. How's everyone doing with their fantasy drafts? Any you guys have any sleepers that you guys like? Who do you think's gonna I mean everyone knows you know the chalk players, but what are what are your what are your sleeper picks? There's Cole Komet. Bears autograph to two ninety nine. Another one for Bill. Or maybe like who's everyone? Who, who do you think that everyone is high on, but you don't think that you disagree? Cam Akers. Nick Nick Givens likes Cam Akers as a sleeper. You got Lynn Bowden in the thirteenth round, says Mark. See, that could be interesting. I think they – I don't know who the Raiders, like, back up. Do they still have, like, Jalen Richard, I think, is still there? But I think they really want to get Lynn Bowden Jr. in there as sort of a second running back, a change of pace back or something like that. There's 10 out of 10, D.D. Westbrook for the Jags. Bill's doing a franchise auction draft right now. I'm all about the auction draft. I think that's the that's the true mark of a fantasy player in auction draft. That's where you really get all the values knocked down, knocked out. Anyone can draft whoever in the first first round. But how much is Patrick Mahomes really worth to your team? TJ Watt to fifty for the Steelers. It's Dan Marino. I don't know, like, how does Adam Thielen do? What do you think? Adam Thielen without Stephon Diggs? The Raiders, Tyrell Williams is out. How does Gronk do? Yeah, auctions do take forever, though. All right, moving on. There's O.J. Howard, too. Yeah, Hunter Henry's not a top three tight end. Sean Jasper. I mean, they're pretty close to Kittle's numbers if they weren't better, James. I, I guess Brian Edwards would be... I mean, I don't know who... they they got a lot of young pass catchers. My Raiders have a lot of young pass catchers rolling out there. I mean, unless they want to rely on, like, Zay Jones or or Nelson Aguilar. Otherwise, it's just Brian Edwards, Henry Ruggs, Hunter Renfro. I mean, you know, just unproven pass catchers. And, you know, for wide receivers, I feel like it still takes, like, a... It still takes a season or two for them to really get into a groove, or, you know, so... Yeah, I guess Darren Waller would still would be would be the number one option, but in terms of a wide receiver, don't know. Is, is Kamara staying with the Saints? I feel like I've heard some rumblings. And there's Sony Michelle. Jersey Kings, 268 to 299 for the Patriots. That's going to go to Angel. Yeah, Fournette to the Bucks. I don't think that relationship, although Fournette was, seemed very pleasant in his goodbye tweet or whatever, Instagram post. You know, but I don't know. That, that relationship with him and the team just didn't seem to be quite there. Oh, 
Oh, Kamara returned to practice today. TJ Watt die cut to 25. There's Henry Ruggs. I don't know. I mean, if Henry Ruggs is ahead of schedule, you know, I don't know. If, I don't know if they're going to need Tyrell Williams at that point. Maybe Brian Edwards does get work. Maybe Henry Ruggs is more of a. Ooh, I think these are not too common. There's Christian McCaffrey, Panthers on hell with the Panthers. But maybe Ruggs is more of a, a, a more of a a speedster type. Maybe more of a Meikle Hardman type. It's a speedy type. And then Brian Edwards might be more of a Tyree Kill type, you know? Yeah, yeah, like Hollywood Brown type. And then Darren, and so he stretches the field, and Darren Waller, and you know, now this is a big season for him. Any guesses on that redemption? Justin Jefferson is a guess. Chase Young is another guess from Sean Jaspi in the background. Jonathan Taylor. All right. What do we got? It's a the Elite Series Rookie Autographs card Sweet 16. C... H, Ace, Young. Good job. Sean Jaspi with the guess. Gets the Chase Young for the Washington football team. Dom. Four boxes to go here. There's one, two, right here, and then we'll do the other two in just a second. Got about another 20 minutes or so to go. Sort of a longer break, so thanks for hanging with us here in this. So to me, Derek Carr, kind of a make or break. In the next season or two, not immediately, but in the next season or two, I think I think Derek Carr, with all those new weapons, right, and the emergence of Darren Waller and the emergence of Josh Jacobs, an improved defense. That defense is still going to be an issue for the Raiders, but an improved defense for the Raiders. All those pieces together, coaching consistency, blah, 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 blah. New environment, brand new stadium. New practice facilities, they, those look great. So it's kind of a make or break season or two for him. He's got to show some some great progress, I think, if he wants to get another contract with the Raiders. What other players, ladies and gentlemen, do you think are in that kind of boat? Baker, maybe? Baker Mayfield, perhaps? Although there's been some coaching inconsistencies there, so maybe that's not fair. Make or break. Roquan Smith. Bears, that'll be for Bill. Proof Chris Carson. Uh, 
talking about coaches. Maybe it's a make, break, make or break year for someone like Bill O'Brien. Demarcus Lawrence. Made some trades. Moved DeAndre Hopkins. Got David Johnson back. Signed Brandon Cooks. So, I don't know. Was that did that was that end up being a good move? Adding adding some some running, or maybe it's a bad move. Losing a superstar like DeAndre Hopkins. Another redemption. Any guesses? There's, uh, Jonathan Joseph to seventy five die cut. Cardinals may be a sleeper team for this year. Yeah, a lot of lot of fantasy sports analysts seem to suggest, seem to like Kyler Murray a lot as a potentially top quarterback. That's a tough division, though. You see them making a run for the NFC West? That's a tough division. Seahawks are still there. Niners are there. Rams are still there. All right, we got retro 2,000 autographs. Could be anybody then, right? R, U, Russell, Wilson. Wow. Russell Wilson, speaking of the NFC West, that goes to Chris Murphy and the Seattle Seahawks. That's going to be a tough division, especially if the Cardinals improve. If they're better this season, ooh. And NFC West is going to beat up on each other. There's a Tua. There's Greg Olson. The 25 die cut. Josh, you took Kyler in your fan in fantasy football. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a, not a bad call. And Kyler Murray can can sling it. He's got a great arm. He could run with his legs. I think protects himself better than Tua. Some people might argue. Press proof. Ben DiNucci for the Cowboys. There's Russell Wilson. We just pulled his autograph. That was awesome. It's a canvas Jonathan Taylor. There's Josh Jacobs. And Keanu Neal, Falcons. 22 out of 50. Nick Stober with the Dirty Birds. There's Hunter Henry. A top three tight end, according to uh, Sean Jaspi. You can talk to him about that a little bit later tonight. That Drew Bledsoe, and there's Josh Jacobs. Is yeah, Marcus Allen passing the torch to Josh Jacobs, one thirty-two to one ninety-nine. Raiders have pieces though. Josh Jacobs setting up the run, or setting up running to set up the pass. John Gruden likes that kind of offense there. Who's got my Vegas Raiders? Las Vegas Raiders. Andy got randomized the Raiders. Nice. Kind of hard to see, but that's David Montgomery right there to 500. Kenny G, Dominators, 
25 out of 25. Nice Kenny G. That's a sexy hit going to Jeremy Anderson and the Lions. There's Isaac Bruce to 100. All right, two boxes to go. Here's, this, here's one box. Here is two boxes right here. All right, good luck, everybody. CJ Henderson to 100. Daniel Jones, 146 to 299. How does Daniel Jones do this year? That would be good for the hobby if Daniel Jones has a has a fast start out of the gates. Got press proof, OJ Howard to fifty. Carry on Johnson to thirty three. Okay, so he's keeping this close. Wait, Vanessa, did you just say that some of the tubs feel new? Yeah. Jackie found some. Oh. <laughs> That's why. I think she, I, I think she found like like ten of them. She bought out like the entire store. <laughs> it's like some of these, it's like, yeah, good eye. Okay, 41 out of 75. Joe Burrow press proof die cut. Be careful with that die cut there. Mark L got randomized the Bengals in this one. Justin Herbert, the rookies. J.K. Dobbins. We saw a flash by that Pat Tillman there, which is nice. And there's Keyshawn Vaughn. Why are you flipped around? Because it's an autograph. Nice. 11 out of 49, Keyshawn Vaughn, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, next over. Clavon Chasen. And the last box. If you want the second half of this, folks, it's on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. If you want more, uh, if you want some high end football, we got that too. Panini just dropped immaculate collegiate football. If you want to get that done tonight, we got one box break, one box random number block breaks, and we have full case random number block breaks, jazbeescasebreaks.com.
Jersey Kings, 006 out of 299, Devontae Parker. Rick T and the Dolphins. So yeah, go and get that if you want to run that back tonight. Got Jared Cook to eighty seven. It's John Ross. Lynn Bowden Jr., Canvas, Henry Ruggs, the rookies. Joe Burrow, press proof, red border. Bangles, Mark. Press proof of Tredavious White to 100. And Justin Herbert autograph to the week he's going to start out of 49. Two out of 49 for Brad Bennett and the Bolts. Elite Series Rookie Auto, Justin Herbert. This is Michael Thomas to 500. CJ Henderson. And you got Kenny Stills, die cut to 25. Kenny G. Willie Sneed to 100. And the last bit here. Joe Burrow, the rookies. That's pretty cool. That's a good way to end it. That's for Mark and the Bengals. Nice. Any giveaways in this or anything like that? Or is this a straight-up break? Old-fashioned old straight-up break. Nice. Let's do a quick recap of Burrow's, Tua's, and Hits. Justin Herbert was nice. Some nice relics, a cool die cut. It's Kenny G, some Raiders. There's a Tua. Russell Wilson, that's pretty sweet. Chase Young, that was nice. I like this Marvels card here, too. That must be a case hit, a short print, both, something like that. That's, I could collect all of those. I'd build a set of that if one were so inclined. I would encourage that. Joe Burrows, Jerry Judy, Tua, Hunter Henry. Got Curtis Martin, Jordan Love, rated rookie hollow right here too. Bradley Chubb and Tony Gonzalez, Travis Kelsey passing the torch. There you go. Uh, that was 2020 Panini Donners football. Nine box, half case, random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.